as its ex original tech hostings and I fully restored my iPhone to the stock 7.0.4 and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to see about the iOS 7.1 beta 3 because you can jailbreak the iOS 7 beta 1 beta 3 sorry because someone I can't be sure of his name but he went into evasion 7 and he edited it and added stuff to it so as of now you can jailbreak iOS 7 beta 3 but I am gonna show you that I am not running 7 beta 3 I am running the stock 7.0.4 as you can see here because I did fully restore using iTunes but be careful when you fully restore because when you fully restore iTunes do put you into restore mode because they don't want anybody jailbreaking on 7.0.4 which means they don't want anybody updating so what you have to do to get out of that obviously restore mode I will show you we will jump onto the computer right now so I can show you guys ex original tech hostings and for all of those people that got stuck into restore mode when they updated using the iOS 7.0.4 um, IPSW, what you need to do is you need to download something called Tiny Umbrella. And not just that, you need to go into this and you need to search up www. We're going to go to Google to find it. And we're gonna put in Java. So what you need to do is you need to go and you need to download Java. So we're gonna click on the download source. You click download. Once you click download, you need to download Tiny Umbrella. So we're gonna go into Google again. I will put all of these links in the description and we'll put in Tiny Umbrella. So you can download this one here, I will put it in the description for you guys and once it's on you just ta download it. An icon like this should appear. Once this icon appears you're going to double click it, it will say this. That means you need to put it and um, run it as administrator. It should still say this so you click yes. It takes a minute to boot up depending on how fast the computer is. So once it boot up, it should come up with this, no matter what, it always comes up with this. You just click OK. And there is a new update. I'm not going to update to that, but you click OK. So once you've done that, a lot of people try this button here. It should say Exit. Exit Recovery. It does exit you, and then it puts you back into recovery. So if that happens, what you need to do is you need to go into DFU mode. To go into DFU mode, you need to hold down the power and the home button for 10 seconds until your screen goes black. And then you wait one second and then you hold down the home button. Not even one second, about half a second. And then you hold down the home button. And then you hold it down for at least 20 seconds. And then you plug it into your computer. And this button should highlight saying fix recovery. This button here. You just click that button. Once you click that button, your iPod, iPad, or iPod, or iPhone, whatever it's doing, once it's done that, it will go into a white screen. Once it hits a white screen, you go into log, and at log you should see something that says, "Let me go up." Wait, it's gone. You should see something that says. Um, um recovery mode connected once you see recovery mode connected just disconnect your iPhone or whatever your, your device, iDevice you're using on iOS 7 and then just turn it off wait about 5 seconds turn it back on and you should go back into your stock iOS and then you just jailbreak but in the jailbreak sometimes it goes off you need to do that process over and once the jailbreak has been completed then it will be untethered and you will not need to reboot again so this tutorial will be only for some people because only some people get this problem so this is x original hosting signing out